Mr. Speaker, sir, at the outset, I thank you for the opportunity given to me to say a few words on the budget presented by the Finance Minister. I would like to say on this occasion that generally the present budget has to be welcomed because it will be seen that it has given some relief to the low income group of people. But at the same time, I am sorry to say that the surcharge on the corporate sector which has been imposed on the industries and on direct taxes will take away some benefits which are proposed to be given. As many honorable members have dealt with it at great length, I would not like to go much into it. I would like to point out that another good feature of the budget at present is that it has done away with the old practice of showing a deficit in the budget. I am glad that this has been stopped in this budget. I hope and trust that it will be a permanent feature and that the deficit will be met by the savings. I am sure there will be savings because we have seen that generally the government underestimate the income at the beginning and by the end of the year. When we have the revised estimates, there is surplus which covers the deficit. In that way, I am happy that deficit budgeting has not been restored to. In this context, I would have been happy if there had been some sort of control on the civil expenditure because we find that in the last three five-year plans, it has been going up year after year unless we take steps to curb it at a point of time. It will take away a large part of our revenue. I am very happy that the finance minister has given some reliefs. But from the way in which he come to office, he did not have time to formulate his own ideas. On account of this, I think that he has tried to take away some concessions which had been given by the previous minister. In this connection, I would like to draw the attention of the house to one thing. It may be remembered that a year ago, when he announced his taxation proposals, he was saying that there would not be any surcharge on personal income tax. But it is Unfortunate that within a year the new finance minister has given up this principle and that we have now a surcharge on direct taxes. There is another happy feature that the finance minister has introduced. We are happy that he has abolished the expenditure tax. I am glad that it has been done away with. But I would like to recall that in the past, we had seen that it had been once removed, but it was reintroduced by some other finance minister. I hope that such a thing will not happen in future and that the present finance minister will not reintroduce it. There are two other points which were dealt with by my honorable friend. One of the points was about devaluation of the rupee. We find from the papers that there is much talk about it. Some say that it will be worthwhile to devalue the rupee. But there are others who say that it will not be in general interest when we have to import a lot of things and when we have to pay for them. I fully agree with what my honorable friend said in this connection.
letter from the secretary murali and company patna to the indian publicity breu new delhi dear sirs the company has decided to launch an advertising campaign throughout the country for a period of 3 months with effect from 1st july next it has been proposed to spend about rupees 50000 for this purpose it has been decided that the advertisement should be made primarily in the principal national dailies and in important state newspapers of course there is no doubt that in this connection local papers and other suitable media may also be profitably utilized at the same time it is suggested that the proposed advertisements all over the country should have the same design in the same way it is also desirable that the time of their publication should coincide with the distribution of illustrated booklets to the retailers of the locality concerned in this connection i will be glad if you can draft a scheme for the campaign and send it on to me together with a copy and layout for the booklet as soon as possible in order to have them approved by the board the next meeting of the board will be held at 3 pm on 20th march and i hope it will be convenient for your representative to attend the meeting to discuss the scheme in detail i shall be glad if you send me a reply at once you are faithfully